Today is a special vlog because today, actually not today, but tomorrow, which is today for you who is watching this video, because I'm gonna publish it tomorrow, which is today now for you who is watching, is Shelly and mine's third wedding anniversary. Thinking about that, I should have probably shaved and cut, have had a haircut, which I've been meaning to do it in a while, but that's okay. Welcome to vlog 2016, 119, Carlos and Shelly special edition. Marriage, hey? We've been married for three years today and gosh, my life has changed so much. When I was single, I was a really happy single guy. I could do anything I wanted, I could buy anything I wanted, but now that I'm married, everything is different. I used to joke with Shelly before we got married that I really wanted a piano, so I better buy the piano before we get married because after we get married, everything's gonna get complicated. And I was going to buy a piano, but then the wedding came and you know, weddings can be quite expensive. After that, buying a piano became a very far dream that today I'm not allowed to because we don't have space in the house. And I think she's right, we really don't have space in the house. And that's another lesson I learned after being married for three years. In the past, before I was married, I was always right. Whenever I had an argument with someone, pff, these people are always, I'm always the one who is always right. But that's not the case anymore because now, Shelly is the one who is always right. <laughs> so you learn a bit of humility, you know. But in this video, I don't wanna focus too much on the three years of our marriage. I wanna go back to where it all began. How the heck did I get married? You know, the answer is really obvious. I'm a very charming man, very good looking. I was very outspoken, very well articulated with my words. However, there's someone who tells the story of how Shelly and I started dating better than me, and that's my friend Dan. So let's hear this exclusive interview to see what he has to say. Carlos was basically not a charming man. He was not very good looking. He wasn't very outspoken. In fact, he couldn't speak English very well at all. But he did have crazy ideas. One day, on his 21st birthday, he held a 24 hour party. I came for the end of it, right at the final dinner. And it turns out, there was this girl there. I went to the dinner, she went to the lunch, she went to the breakfast. She went to the overnight internet gathering. She was there for all of us. And she had eyes on one man, Carlos. I questioned him, Carlos, you're 24, have you ever thought about dating? Have you ever thought about finding a woman? Have you ever settling down? There's a lot of good women out there, but they're going. They might I not. need to go to the story, how I... Uh... Oh, amazing I was uh, asking her out. Which, which story about amazing asking her out? Yeah, the, the, the one I yeah, told you to, to do. Yeah, but you were not amazing at working <laughs> no, out. No, no, but that's not what I'm supposed to say. Well, no, 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 no. Oh. You were terrible. You thought you had the moves, right? So I said to him, Carlos. This girl's amazing. You need to ask her out. And she goes to me, oh no, I've got a cover. I said, what do you mean? He goes, no, no, no. I said, you need to tell her that you like her. You need to tell her that she means something to you. You need to tell her that she's changed your life. He said, no, no, no. She knows. What, what do you mean? I just talked to her. She knows. How does she know? Oh, 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 oh. She, she knows. Did she know? She knows. She knows how I feel. She knows how she has impacted my life. I don't think that's how it went. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> with with worse, worse, worse of English. She knows <laughs> how I feel about her. She knows how she has impacted my life. No, she knows. <laughs> and I said, how does she know? She goes, no, no, she knows. I said, how does she know? What did you say? She knows. She knows that I mean, to, she knows I want to see her again soon and I like her and she's amazing and I want to be with her. I said, what did you say? And he said, I want to see you soon. <laughs> and I said, Carlos, she don't know. So we're driving back and what did I do? I stopped the car. I said, Carlos, this is what you have to do. You need to call her now. You need to tell her that you really like her She's made your birthday very special and you'd like to take her out on a date within the next fortnight. Not as friends, it's a date. And he said, okay, okay, I don't know, okay, I don't know. She knows, but I don't know, okay, okay. And I said, I'm not, I'm literally not driving you home until you do this. So he goes, what if, what if she's driving? I said, she'll pull over. <laughs> but, but she'll pull over, it's fine, okay, okay. So he literally calls her and says, hello, Shelly? Oh, you pulled off, she pulled off. <laughs> 
I don't remember the <laughs> he, said, he said, stop it. You don't know. I know. Okay. He said, ha, ah, I really liked you that you liked, you made my birthday party so good. I really liked that you like, I like, I like that you like me, me like you. And I would like to take you on a date by next Friday. Okay. Thank you very much. She said yes! So we had our first date. I went all the way to the west of Sydney to Parramatta and the plan was to go out for lunch. So I went to a Thai restaurant. It was simple, it was not fancy, but it was just very enjoyable. I was so distracted that when I went to pour water for myself, water went everywhere because I stopped, uh, I don't know what happened. I, I... <laughs> I don't know where I was looking, <laughs> to be honest. All I remember is there was water everywhere and I was really embarrassed. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy and weird. And then we went for a walk and talked a bit. I took some photos because I had my camera with me, naturally. So we went back to the shopping center where Shelly had parked her car. And we walked past this place called, uh, what is it called? It's make a Bear, Build a Bear, Build a Bear. And I thought, hey, have you been here before? I've never been to this place before. So we both went to Build a Bear. We built a, I built a bear, I think. She built a, a tiger, a white tiger that she loves. And it was really fun, but it was also like, is that something you do on your first date? I, w I didn't know. I'm, I thought it was okay. And there's this moment where you put a little heart inside your stuffed animal and you have to kiss <laughs> the heart. Uh, talk about something embarrassing to do in your first date. Kiss a fictional heart to put inside a stuffed animal. But anyway, the date finished. So I called Dan to ask for his advice because, you know, as we already established, I'm not much of a specialist in this kind of things. Carlos called me. I was driving. He said, Pull over. I pulled over. He told me about the date. He told me about how he was so nervous that he wet himself. Literally wet himself with the water. He told me about how they talked for hours and hours and hours. And he's like, did it go well? I'm not sure. I don't know. Did she? I don't know if she liked him. I'm like, mate, of course it went well. And then he told me about build a bear and kissing a little heart and putting it in his bear. And I thought, there's only two things gonna happen. One, she's gonna change her number. Or two, they're gonna get married. After that first date, we just kept dating and we became boyfriend and girlfriend and eventually we got married. And it's funny how people make jokes about getting married. It's like, oh no, you're married, your life ended. Or, uh, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but some of them are like that, right? Your wife is always right, blah, 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 kind of stuff. But even though I was so happy when I was single, I have never, being as happy as I am today being married to Shelley. And marriage is more than just this romantic relationship because it's not always like that. We are there to serve each other and help each other be better. One of my jobs as a husband is to help Shelley be a better person. And one of her jobs as my wife is to help me be a better person. And I've changed so much in these three years that I've been married to her. But don't just take my word for it. Some of my friends sent me videos on how much I changed because of Shelley in the last three years. So let's take a look. Carlos went from being this crazy Brazilian to kind of, he's still crazy Brazilian. Carlos used to be inappropriate, but now he just vlogs about buying shoulder pads. Before you met Shelly, <laughs> you were really smelly. And um, now, cause you guys are like, mm -hmm. uh, you just, like smell really good now. I mean like, really good. Carlos used to be a man that was just obsessed. Obsessed with hoarding. He just collects everything. Obsessed with filming and getting the right camera lens and the right angle and getting the right shot. But all of that has changed now that he's met Shelly because now he's obsessed with her. <laughs> so lovely! I married Carlos. Not literally married him, but I was the one who did the wedding. Yeah. And at that time I married a man-child and now he is a man. Carlos used to play StarCraft every day, but now he doesn't. Carlos was missing something that is very important and very deep in a human's life, and that was... A life-size cardboard cut out <laughs> of Michael Jordan. Before Carlos got married, he used to run on Brazilian time, but now he mostly runs on Australian time, so that's a great thing. He was always a little bit scatterbrained, and then he met Shelly, and they started dating, and then they got married, and then all of a sudden Carlos began to turn around. Oh, sorry, Shelly. But he definitely became a better man when he married you. 
Now, you might be wondering why the title of this vlog is Am I Sure About This? I'll explain to you that title by telling you a short story that happened just a few months before Shelly and I got married. We kind of had an argument. It was not really an argument. Shelly got a bit upset because of something I said. For some reason, we were talking about how, how sure we were about doing this, about getting married. And for some very wise, smart reason, I said that I wasn't 100% sure. <laughs> Right? That's the kind of thing you say, right? But then I was like almost 100% sure because I won't be sure until it's actually done until we actually do get married I believe that marriage is such a massive decision. Once I said I do this it's for life I come from a broken family. My parents got divorced when I was 13 I don't want my kids to go through that. I don't want that to happen to me So this is a decision for life and to be honest, it's not always easy. It's not always like flowers and unicorns and rainbows Sometimes we fight, but I also believe that love is not just a feeling, but it's a choice. And once you're married, every day you choose to love your spouse, to, to be there. It doesn't matter how you feel. You might feel like it, you might not feel like it, but you still choose love. And at a wedding, the moment I said I do, I knew 100% that I am sure this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And for the last three years, every day, I am more and more sure that saying yes to Shelly was one of the very best decisions that I've ever made in my life. This is a message that would be more useful for Shelly. You know, I just left the house, but I didn't actually go to work. I took the day off today because we're doing something special. So whenever you finish watching this video, just let me know I'm waiting outside. <laughs> and for everyone else who's watching, thank you so much for watching. And tomorrow we go back to a normal vlog.